Welcome students to our third part of today's series where we're going to be learning in this episode about ionic bonds, which let's say is a more generous version than the covalent bonds. But you know, as you can see in our background, we're still going to work with two sheet. Yeah, I, I promise these guys get paid a fair wage, may or may not see their family again. But, you know, it's it's worth it for science at least, right? No, just kidding. We treat them with respect. All right, time for our verbal explanation of ionic bonds. All right, since we know this is a more generous type of, of bonding, well, I call it more generous because generally there is a donator and a receiver for valence electrons. Ionic bonds are typically done with the purpose of following that type of rule, and, well, it's going to normally be a metal giving non-metal valence electrons. Well, typically, as normally, there are sometimes exceptions for most of these rules for these bonds and energies, but normally it's going to be a metal giving a non-metal valence electrons. This process also determines the charge of an atom, determining if there are more protons than neutrons, there will be a positive element, and if there are more electrons than protons, there will be a negative charge. After the octet rule is satisfied, these elements will make a compound to try to maintain neutrality in the charge. All right, so let's go over uh, our test subjects for today. Mr. Oxygen and Mr. Magnesium. For today's bond, we have we have a more generous person and we have a more greedy one. Mr. Oxygen here has six valence electrons, or in our world, diamonds. And over here, Mr. Magnesium only has two diamonds, or two valence electrons. So, if there is a donator and a receiver in this situation, what we're going to see is Mr. Magnesium donating his valence electrons to oxygen so he can maintain stability by having zero valence electrons and well mr oxygen is going to be extremely happy since he'll have all eight filled in valence electrons so what would that look like well we get two valence electrons from mr magnesium over here and then the six valence electrons from mr oxygen and then after magnesium, since, well, he is the one that is in a position to donate valence electrons without being in a worse state, they will create, wait, an ionic bond making magnesium oxide. Just pretend these two aren't here for now. But they will make a bond of magnesium oxide is what they will be called as wherever oxygen is satisfied with his eight valence electrons and magnesium is going to be satisfied with his zero valence electrons. And that sums it up for the third video of our series, which is going to be about ionic bonds. I hope you all enjoyed this video.